Okay, the song right now is Jupiter by Rogue VHS. Let's watch this podcast. Why not? Uh, no Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today I have convened a panel of sorts. Allow me to run through everybody who is seated. At Let's this watch it. Round table of sorts. Directly to my right, or your left, I suppose, we have the unstoppable force known as John Zerka. Thank you for having me. Showed up with a pack of lucky strikes. Who texted me at like four in the morning? That's pretty much the reason for the season. I, I convened this panel because I want to see how he could handle a couple of women on camera. But we'll get to that. In addition to that, we have my boy Court all the way to the left. You'll learn more about him. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the best kept secret from special ed. There's a lot, there's a lot <laughs> to learn about him. We'll get to all that. But Court is a great guy. I think he's going to add some good comedic flair to what we're doing here. And then directly to, I guess you're right. It's all only Kazumi. You may remember me from Pop Hits, like uh, not yank. showering. Let's yank this up a little bit. Thank I you. shower now. You do shower now. That's yeah. good. So that proves that there are things that can come from being on the jumper <laughs> that will improve life for everybody. And then, in addition, you decided to bring along. I told you to bring a friend. And for some you watch this? Check it out. She's just like a regular chick. We're, we're good friends. <laughs> What's up? I was telling a story the other day about how a girl peed all over my couch, or sh over my couch, and then I remember probably through the story. I'm like, oh, this story is about Adriana. Check it for the record. <laughs> and like the people I was talking to, were like, what the hell? Like I'm like, I should have, I should have led with that. I just remember being like, okay, don't sit on the carpet. I can do anything else but the carpet, because that's what Lena said right beforehand. I honestly don't know what's harder to clean, a carpet or a, or a couch. A couch is harder. When it comes to... Yeah. Have you gaslit yourself into liking school yet? Or... I haven't had Think so many... that is a glass of time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a good enough. extra lube. <laughs> let, let me just throw this question No, I, I turned Zerka, up the speed. what is at the top of your mind in terms of I turned things up the that speed. you want to know today in regards to these ladies? Like, what, what would you like to get to the bottom of? I want to know if Adri remembers me grabbing her number at that party. Yo, I do remember this guy. As soon as he showed up, I was like, wait, I know you. So I was at a party for Jules Jordan's 4th of July. I was doing backflips and shit like this. And I lost my dog's ball. And he was trying to hit on. He was following me around, trying to hit on me the whole time. And I was like evading him. And then when I lost my dog's ball, all of a sudden he's like, here, I found it. And like said a bunch of stuff to me and then was like, can I get your number? So he like weaseled himself in. He knew what he was doing. Or if she's just being polite. No, I said it first. What year was it? Um, I think it was two years. No, it yes. was yeah, two years yes. ago, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you remember. Okay. I have a very good memory. People think I don't and, remember. And you, didn't you get the the ball from my dog at the time? Like I was playing with my dogs and I had a ball and like. Is that like a sexual thing? A, a real dog? <laughs> yeah, I brought my dogs. Remember, and I was like I playing with them in the backyard, and you got the ball, and that's how we started talking. That's what you do if you want to hit on a girl. Yeah. You sort of like abduct your dog. <laughs> <laughs> take it from her. Yeah, we played yeah. fetch. Like, yeah. I don't remember the dogs. It was that barbecue. Uh, yeah, party, it was right? in the back part of his his house. Yeah. yeah. So you can confirm that Zerka has Riz IRL. Yeah, for sure. He's hot. I don't even know what I Riz is. Number, so. that's, the, that's the third. What does Riz mean, guys? What like what does Riz mean? What the fuck is that? Game. Can I put you down? Can I? Can you just go? Okay, you want to sleep like that? All right. The time you did that, Kazumi, you called everybody in here. I didn't for call it. It's business. <laughs> Jesus, of course. I think um he has nice teeth. I got to be at least lukewarm. I said I liked your hat. That's I could take this off. Take it off. <laughs> he does have a, a very complicated hat. You'll do well here with a fancy hat like that. Yeah. I, I don't want to really just. How long is this whole video? Did you really wrap yarn around the New York logo or what? Oh, it's an oh, hour. Probably Terry Secret. Oh. <laughs> Nobody. Oh, his oh, notific. Oh, this guy's oh, this guy's oh, famous, oh, right? His notifications are dry. That's what I'm saying. More money than male porn stars. Yeah, as I yeah. should. Stars getting gang banged. Yeah, are you speaking about women kind or about I mean, porn I stars? had to fight hard to get to where I am. So, I mean, I grew up in foster care and I'm here and I have a house and I've got Oh, he's money. trying to be a dick. Um, you so got a lot more money. Easy... Adrian, you got a lot more money than male porn stars. Yeah, as I yeah. should because That's how I'm easy it is for you. No, no, no. You get more money because you do more work and my body is a temple. My body is worth more than a male porn star. I'm sorry. It's the only industry where women run and make more money. So I don't feel bad about it, but That's it's not, not true. easy. Women yeah. make more? Yes, porn in porn. Of course. Women no, the, the owners are men. Okay. But as far uh, as we're, they, we're, they we're limiting ourselves to the performers. Yeah. 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 Okay. But even nowadays, like, I mean, obviously with OnlyFans, like, we control our platform, we control our money. But check this out. Since 16, you girls have fucking DMs. Your DMs filled with people like, Adam, how many girls go to LA at 16? If Adam and I went to LA at 16, we'd fucking starve to death. You guys <laughs> could just figure it out. You That's guys could just idiot. figure it out. I feel like. Since 16, the world is fucking with you. Bro, we have to make That's money. That's an idiot. 
to get a fucking poke from my grandma on Facebook. Nobody, with his notification, <laughs> this, this guy's famous, right? His notifications are dry. That's what I'm right. Yeah, this guy was texting me. He's He texted me at four in the morning the other day and he was like, Adriana, we're gonna be famous, make so much money this year. And I didn't respond. And then he sent me another one because he's staying with Healy Mike. He sent me another one. And I was like, bro, I already have my own money. And the fact that you're texting me like in the middle of the night saying we need to make money together kind of makes me think like you're trying to like, you know, use me. And then also like maybe you're like on drugs or something because you don't like text somebody that early and assume like we're going to make money together. That's what a man's life is, dude. And Even I, when I can't famous. tell if these girls just respect my girl or if I'm a fucking loser. Uh, no, no. I, I think yo, yo, Adam, Adam, cool. do you think you got more notifications than these girls? Hell no. Hell yeah, no. Yeah, but why no. do you? That's what, opportunity. What makes you think that? These I, girls are going on Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, you can <laughs> call First me. of all, Joe Rogan doesn't want to have porn stars on there because I've, already, I've really? already. Yes, I've already talked to him. He's more of a family man. He won't do he it. He has way too many Second sponsorships. All, Wait, tell us what you guys talked about. That's big views. No, that's no, 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 no. <laughs> He's not having enough. you on. You might as well leave. No, Show no, the DMs. No. <laughs> Joe, well, also, what makes you think that I'm going in the DMs and making money off my DMs? Like, I no, started... no, no. You have the opportunity to Adam. But you he can't have... get a nickel from his grandma but, for his whole oh fucking life. But you being a this male have the opportunity me. to make a higher income in most types of jobs. Like, like, like what? Electrician? Straight. Like the Any hard job, jobs? a business job, like what, like the hard jobs, like you don't want to fucking put in work, you want to be lazy and just yeah, that's why I'm here. Then, then, <laughs> that's why we're podcasting. Oh my god, he chose the laziest yeah. fucking job, oh the most indulgent god. job where we can just sort of sit there and pontificate about. Like, things. when's the last time you laid tiles or done something like man? Never. And yeah, in fact, either. I blame the world around me, not myself. You know when I started hating women? It's okay. Call the police. It was Yo, check this out. I would delete that number. I can't believe you <laughs> spit at me and then you hate But check this out. For five years, I'm bouncing at nightclubs, getting $15 an hour. One bartender's making a thousand bucks doing fuck all Yo, this, on a slow night. Bro, this guy's just pissed because he doesn't make any. He, this guy's just pissed because he's a lazy motherfucker. So things don't come to him because he's a lazy motherfucker. And I was like, I'm robbing that bitch. Are you fucking joking me? $15 an hour and I just... White passing, that's like they get you these yeah, days. Yeah, you know ISIS? Chinese, nope, you're, you're white like passing. Middle Eastern. <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm from ISIS. Have you been to ISIS Island? I was born in Kuwait. I don't okay, know what you I know did. ISIS. Yeah, I know ISIS. I know you're talking about the Middle East. This nigga oh. is saying ISIS like 20 times no, like in a I... row. You're not going to be able to fly back home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 they don't let us fly anymore. After 9-11, uh, after they don't do that. Hard to believe. Really? I, I mean, I don't really have sympathy for a world built system systemically by people that are men who have made it a who have made a world where it's easier for women to be exploited for their sexuality and desirability because first of all okay the world might be a little bit easier and give a person like me a lot more opportunities but i've been like mid most of my life and it was way harder to like make a lot of money at, like growing up you're you saying know? women don't have privilege like hot chicks have privilege yeah like you know like okay i, I hate this hot chicks Do, have privilege yeah. because if you're a hot chick everyone just assumes that you've got it easy everyone assumes that you're making money and stuff like that but like a lot of the time you have to deal with a lot more bullshit and then you have to deal with people putting you down because you look good yeah but i'm framing it the way they're saying like oh like we all have these dms and we have all these opportunities and i'm like okay 80 percent of women don't really have like things like that even though it's extremely annoying mm -hmm. i do feel like we're only talking about like a certain type of woman that no isn't, no like, even you could be a fat bowling ball with two My shoes at the bottom and you got dms you could be like the fattest bitch on earth and there's a category for that on pornhub and check this out there's a category Adam for you and, on pornhub. Yo, us three boys our whole lives when we were trying to make money you know, it, we struggled. When you guys struggled making oh money, oh my god, this guy's so angry. He's so angry. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I don't think I've ever. Oh, wow. You guys got free lobster bro, when baby. you were struggling. No, no baby. And then crabs. No, I grew up in foster care. I was a stripper living in my fucking car. And so then no guy to took park. you on a date. Uh, I take myself on dates, motherfucker. No, no, when you were like, young, when you were 16, 17, no guy took you on a date. I didn't even go on dates until I was 19. I didn't even lose my virginity until I was okay, 18. Why 19, do you think I was getting guys to like? 19, you think I was 16 being a hoe? It's 19, you go on a date, the guy's paying. I Don almost Zerka. always right? pay for dates. No, you then. don't. I You're do. a rich oh OnlyFans girl. We get it. Even, when, even before I was a rich OnlyFans girl, I always paid for men because I just simply you don't You pay care. for men on dates. Yes. That sounds like you have Holy no respect lying. for yourself. I That's marketing, just, bro. That's I marketing. I think I just like to That's, pay for men because I don't Plug your really OnlyFans now. That's marketing. Only You've never paid wrong. for a date. Come on. I've always paid for a date. Adam, you believe this? I also see what I mean. Room that's some self-loathing shit, though. As yeah. a woman, you need to be like basically allowing all these guys to put forth. It's like a science fair. They're doing their best, their best job possible to impress you. If I accept a guy bringing me to a yacht party, I am a girl who's living an easy life. Actually, off camera, he's not. It's all an act. 
life who like doesn't have to work hard, or I could be a self-hating girl because I just want to pay for the for experiences so I can. We let her pay, people. Adam. Why are you yeah. talking? Yeah. Nah, what are you doing? Yeah. I'll let her pay for yeah. sure. We go on a date after this. You're but paying. you didn't Yo, hear you from me. Cool. Take me yeah. out to Nobu, and then if you pay, I I'll vlog it. You didn't hear from <laughs> me. Really yeah, I'll vlog it. Yeah, He'll take your Instagram pictures. That's really all we're good for these days, anyway, right? I don't think I've ever really seen a man as a bank account because I don't want to rely on you guys for anything because I don't want to be controlled by whatever you want me to do. If I have my own money, like off camera, you a different person. That's wrong. Fuck with it, then we're not gonna date. Or Every interact woman with each other. on exactly. earth wants to be controlled by a man. It's whoa, wild. what the fuck? That's the truth. It's, what do you say? Wh where did where, you get who hurt you? Probably hurt you. <laughs> 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 but I have been hurt. I have been hurt. That's the exactly. point. Exactly. You've got some deep rooted problems. I, check this out though. I have been hurt. And if let's say I have a long list of girls I dated. Mm -hmm. That, that's my experiment that you know you guys aren't as generous Maybe as you're us. Just we're like paying a, for a Adrian, you don't pay you for don't... dinners stop look at her smile oh, what the shit. fuck her, got her when rest. was the last time i can't remember the last time i even went on a date i'm a ceo baby i don't have time to go on dinners with a little men like you okay oh shit. why do you think i never answered your text back when you gave me a challenge number? i don't even remember texting <laughs> you did text me what pull I it up i don't know but you would try to hang out but i don't live here so i was probably up north yeah. there's no way i could hang out but you i did. did ask you to get on my podcast you have a podcast? I don't remember that. It's so bad. Like, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you've dated yes, Dave. women and they gave you a hard like, time? Try and find a woman on earth that's not a gold digger. Oh right. my really fucking easy. God. This easy guy easy was like pissing me off. People, you're only going to attract people who want you for your money. But the same way you may hate women now because you've had shitty experiences is the same reason a woman would probably hate a man for having multiple shitty experiences with men. But we can all agree that the reason why you're attracting shitty people is because you're shitty yourself. The same exactly. way a shitty woman Thank you, shitty evil. Guys oh, Check it out. You're, we you're hate the world my, around you. My gay frog gang, my community. We See, I, I try, I don't know if you guys notice, I try and defend just enough because people like this, you can't change their mind, right? And you don't want their fans to come after you. So all you can do is say smart rebuttals in a nice way. Because otherwise it's gonna be like too crazy or you're gonna get more negativity. So you kind of just have to like weasel in a good point, like every here and like just a little bit, you know? Otherwise I would've went in on him, but that doesn't do anything. We what? Hate, we hate, we're the gay frog gang. You're we, gay? What do you mean? No, 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 no. Mean we. We're straight. It's a fucking, it's marketing, guys. I'm so check this out. I don't mind if you're gay. We're talking about the modern day woman. You want something that's going to traumatize you guys? Adam, me, all three of our moms agree with what I'm saying. They wouldn't oh say it out loud. Oh my fucking God. All of our Adam moms agree. Like Your mom wouldn't say women are gold diggers? My All mom. of our mom, any mom who got a son would say that to her son. My That's... mom's a pretty hardcore feminist. Yeah. yeah. I feel really? like, if yeah. you, is your mom like a cool mom? I feel my like. My mom's cool as shit. My, my, <laughs> my mom is definitely not a gold digger because my dad was a lame. So I feel like they both just had like an equal partnership like most people in the world usually do. I don't think my dad was like an NBA player. That's and my the mom word. Was a loser, yeah. you know? I love you. She said equal. I want to paint think, the picture you for you. Do you think men and women are equal, really? In many yeah. ways. Let me, let me, uh, bro, let me just, bro. I want to paint a picture for you, Zarka. Exactly. Her birthday party. You can't. Tons when of people these there, people, people especially they're uneducated and ignorant, a hundred percent. While her boyfriend sits back and smiles and watches with pride. This is real. This yeah. happens. This, I just, this, this is footage. fetish. Give me your thoughts on on this dynamic. Like, how long is she on in the inferno? Well, was, they were selectively <laughs> burning her. Yeah, yeah. It's not I, like I'm she like, was fully engulfed. I'm a kinky girl. I like being set on fire sometimes. It's I don't know. I think he's like yeah. 34. Fire, like, I think he's 34. Uh, I like him. Yeah, I'm kind of like. It's like the perfect him. woman. Yeah. <laughs> you also get that gasoline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was a part well, of this like conversation, so I just want to see it. You like it's her kink. I called the cops. I was a part of this conversation, so I want to see it. There's a woman on fire. How long did the fire burn? Um, I had multiple like getting set on fire performances. The first one was one was when they like lit my pussy on fire, and then my boyfriend like lit a joint with it. And then there was one where me and my my. I'm not here to fucking argue. So I'm like, I'm just try trying to have fun. And I kept Hi. swiping my credit card. And then after a few months, I realized, yo, you guys are destroying our lives. You know, by Whoa. 70K, I took, you guys, I, took what a guy, I took a guy on vacation to Africa that was like $40,000 each. Africa? Okay? That's like, like fucking $8 trip. No, baby, not the way <laughs> wow. I like that. Not the way yo, I'm right, I right here. I'm right here. No, not like that. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying, take someone to a resort, like a big fat I resort. I took them to the number one That's like taking them to my country. You hold on. You they have resorts in Africa, bro. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. Really so, have so, so let me get this straight. If I take my girl to my country, my third world bombed country, <laughs> You think that's like a flex? Okay, first of all, how dare you think that Africa is a third world? They're leading in some medical and no. science things. They have some of the best medical teams and doctors out there. So people need to stop thinking. Okay, how much did Africa you lose though? How much did you lose? 
What do you mean? I when broke up paid? with a guy, so I lost 42000 but I took him on two trips over the years, so probably around 97000 We had Richard yeah. Spencer on this channel this week, and that was still the most racist thing that anybody said. I'm, I just, I, I couldn't even think of anything to say. It took me like two minutes. I'm hold sorry. It's, hold on. Anywhere outside of the West is usually a third world country. Like, go on Wikipedia. Oh, bro. Oh, bro, you have no education. You have not, no fucking education. Not to mention. America is not the number one place. I'm a refugee. You, you think I want to go back to my country? Okay. Maybe Where are you, you from again? Kosovo. Oh, I'm from a war zone. Damn, yeah, you get real over there. Yeah. I'm this telling guy you, I've traveled crazy. the whole world, and a lot of places are poor. It's not racist to say. You, you know, Africa gets taken advantage of by the American empire. This is Neo Rome. You guys are trying to make the argument that US isn't fucking over Africa for its minerals and resources? What are you, white supremacists? Everybody are you guys fucking serious? Now he's Africa. justifying yeah, why he thought it would be an $8 trip. Where did why, why you did he look at the only, why did he at the only black guy in the room and ask if I'm a white supremacist? <laughs> you, yeah. Are you? No, but, and he lit a cigarette yeah. like it's 1963. Yeah. And it's, yeah. like, it's like this is Mad Men. He's Don Draper or some shit. No, no, Adam, Adam, you gotta explain. You don't think China and, Dude, and, be... and the U.S. is pillaging Africa and all the, the continents. I've heard a lot about this colonialism stuff, so yeah, I think there's some of that going on. You're for gonna, sure, maybe for less sure. Now. Okay, I'm just saying, don't think that they do, don't think that they're underdeveloped or they don't have like some new age science and shit like that. Like, I mean, well, I, I just thought I thought it was a cheaper trip than a fucking Disneyland. Dude, no, you it's gotta, not. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like, when I go to my country, right there. You are uneducated. You hate women. You think everywhere else is poor. When I'm to male crackhead. I thought what? Are fucked. Let me fast forward. Taking so about, long. Like them spoiling me because the dick was just bomb back then. But listen, I'm I'm in my lane. I'm worrying about myself. I'm trying to do good things for myself, build my brand. Why am I gonna let myself falter into bullshit? Uh, I'm with you on the 9/11 one. For sure. back, when, right? like, back when Molly got lit, like 2012, bro, Molly. And 9/11 Doc was my fucking go-to move. What? Like, but, yeah. Take Molly and watch a, the Doc. same one over and over, just a variety of them. No, all bro, all of them shit's loose change. Yeah, um, yeah loose change. Shit, bro, 9/11 Docs and Molly was my go-to get pussy move, bro. Like, <laughs> Those are go-to get pussy moves. It was, the, it was the early version of Netflix and. I'm yeah. cheeseless. She's cheesy. Yeah. Me? Nuts. Like when we yeah. finally have sex, and it makes me feel like really weird. Like mm. I like don't. It's so long. It's like, so it's, it's, long. Like, they like seeing me do like some insane gangbang shit, and then I think I'm gonna like throw their dick in like one second. They show up with thirty of their friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, show up hey, with hey, the whole hey, block. Yeah. Added, to, added to the group chat. Yeah, and I, and I feel like that's why it's hard for us today. Oh, thank you, Evil Lion Man. And, like try really hard, and it's like sometimes I just want to have like missionary eyes closed, forehead to forehead. I got a homie who just became uh, single, and I hooked hooked him up with a porn star. Like I, I hit up this girl that I knew he liked. I was like, "Hey, would you go out with my friend?" She said, "Yes." He's 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 gonna hang out with her, or whatever. And I told him, "I'm like, yo, just don't say anything about the fact that she's fucked giant dicks before you." Because <laughs> I'm like, girls always mention that to me as just being kind of cringe. That whenever dudes fuck a porn star, they're always like, "Oh, I know you took fucking 12 inch dicks before. My dick's not that big." Like, just, just don't say anything about it. Yeah. Just just act like it's all normal. That's Thank you so much, Tommy Gaming. What bringing it up? Yeah. You wouldn't be tempted to bring it up? Nah, not me. The thing is, like, this is something that we both know. I don't need you to tell me. You don't need me to tell you. So it's like, exactly. No, dude. Like, if a bitch fuck dread and I get the chance to fuck, I'm, I'm not gonna be like, well, uh. You just be I'm happy no you had that monster, <laughs> but uh, here's mine. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I don't care if your pussy is like a jinko leg. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we, I'm, I'm gonna do my thing. Yeah. That's, that's why. That's why when you was talking about how uh, fucking a dude once is rude or wrong or something. It's rude. Totally disagree, man. Because let me ask you this: If you had a chance to fuck either of them, uh, you asked for her number before. So let's let's say AG, right? If you had a chance to fuck her once, right, and she never fucked with you again, you wouldn't think like, oh yeah, that was cool, man. I, I fucked that. Yeah, once. but I'm not like the average guy. The average guy got nothing else DMing them, so they go back to like I empty, like, empty DMs. Bro, there's people that go on Wheel of Fortune and win a fucking car and a big ass vacation. It's not like they keep winning that shit. I feel yeah. like fucking one of them is like winning if, Wheel of Fortune. No, no, if you, oh, I love if, that. He's yeah. a nice guy. Don't, don't be so fucking yeah. 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 She's Pat Sajak. Yeah. If if you fucked a woman once, you never fucked her. All right, you fucked her if you've had it 10, 20 times, then you can claim once. Yeah, but these are who the fuck we want, who what the one? fuck these is this guy even yeah. saying? You know, like nothing he says right. makes <laughs> sense. Like if, you, if, you get, if you get a chance to play ball with Kobe, you're probably gonna get to play ball with him once, right? That's what I'm saying. If you fuck Nicki Minaj one time, you yeah, fuck. That's all you I fuck. You're allowed to say you fuck her. Let's be real. Fuck ten times, like I, if I if I got in there once, I'm happy with it. Also, I feel like if I got if I fucked like a virgin. I feel like he would be able to walk from life with a lot more confidence after fucking me that he yeah. would then. So you're pro pity fucking. I love pity fucking. That's like my sport. For that dude who got nothing, he's just some fucking dork. That, that you know that weird kid I in the back of the nerds. class. You give the weird kid in the back of the class some pussy. That's so dangerous. You want to go to that guy's house? That's so dangerous, bro. No, yeah. those are the guys I like. Nah, he, those are the guys I go for. I go for nerdy guys. He's starting to make a point, man. That's a scary. Uh, hey, think of the homie we have who never gets pussy at the bar. That's the guy who betrays us. You think? If That's I get every pussy? single time the guy, our homie that gets no pussy. Them niggas he, just killing women. He's the murder of the group. He's the most dangerous. He's, he like, he's the are, first to snitch. There are he's, plenty he just hates of men life. out there that haven't gotten pussy that are totally fucking normal, bro. Like 
What are you, you watching? No, it's not shit? that normal. Yeah, it's a ticking time bomb. If you don't get some pussy soon, you're going to so crash out. I'm saving lives by giving that guy pussy. I gave um, a fan ex uh, experience um, for the disabled one time. I fucked this blind guy because he had listened to my voice on No Jumper podcast. And so I, proud to be a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I felt like after having sex with him, I felt like it it really made his life so much happier. And like, uh, it that's it true. It was still dope. Yeah, it was so good. Right up shit. You fucked the blind guy. Yeah, he was blind. You didn't yeah. cure that shit. Yeah, you not yeah. Mr. Beast. But he definitely like. <laughs> was there awkward moments? Like, did he? Was he like, where are you? No. Oh, I, totally. I, you know, I kind of was like, do you know what I like look like? And he was like, you how do I keep myself composed? <laughs> how do I keep myself composed? Well, I like I said earlier, uh, you can't really change people's minds. All you can do is kindly put in a rebuttal or say something smart that they can't respond to. So I do that. And then a lot of the times, like I know when I can and can't talk, I pick my battles in these type of situations. Like, what do you, do you have an idea of like, he was like, I know you're like Asian, you know? I, I was like, I, I am. Trust He's me. like, I know you're Asian. <laughs> you know how they have that walking stick? With uh, these, bye, like, Big B. It's almost like, over. We're almost over. What actually. image do they form in their head when they start touching your face if they're blind? The shapes, baby, the shaves. Yeah, I mean, like, no, you could be like that. Uh, right, so could, if, you, if you have acne and he starts reading shit off your face, I feel like you have that, acne. That's so braille. So like, if I could feel you have high cheekbones, then I'm gonna think you're hot because I know that high cheekbones is a good thing, even though I can't actually see you. He, he actually yeah. was able to see for a, a long portion of his life. He was a, he was a frat guy. He had oh, so he's see. seen a woman. So okay. he's seen a woman. I, 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 I would be really have. good. Yeah. I definitely have. <laughs> no, but like someone formally <laughs> retarded. Oh, okay. No, I definitely have. Okay. Word. All right, <laughs> girls. <laughs> it's Adam. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for pulling up. I really appreciate you guys uh, taking in the wisdom of Zerka. And I can believe it was an hour. That was an hour. No violence. Dirty bird nation. Thank you for the positive check. I didn't even know Zerka was on Twitch or anything like that. We're gonna play Witcher now. I had no idea who was even on 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 this platform. No, it's all an act because when the camera's off, like I'm I'm gonna spoil it for everyone, but when the camera's off, he's a completely different person. It's just an act that he's doing because a lot of people saw Andrew Tate become successful, so they try to like replicate it, you know? But um it doesn't work very well. Does not work very well. So let's play the Witcher. Um, you sound impatient and angry. Are you good? No, I'm just like sleepy, Make but I want to play games. I'm very sleepy. I think I need to get more coffee and pee. But before I do that, I just want to give a special thank you to our stream sponsor. Guys, we are being sponsored by ExpressVPN. Uh, there's going to be a link in my chat right now. It's expressvpn.com slash Adriana. If you click that link, you'll get three months free for signing up for it. And if you don't know what a VPN is and you don't know why you should sign up, I'm going to tell you because if you watch Netflix, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, there's a whole array of movies globally that you're missing and you can use your VPN to ping from different countries so you can get the most out of your pay most out of your paid um, some script subscription plans. And on top of that, another big crazy thing is that we spend, I think, 91 hours in a lifetime changing our passwords. So if you protect yourself when you're out and about on local Wi-Fi using ExpressVPN, you won't have to spend all that time changing passwords anymore. So please check it out. They're great sponsors. I'm so lucky to have them. And I hope you guys enjoy ExpressVPN and you sign up. Thank you. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go pee. I'm going to get coffee. And then we're going to play The Witcher. Let me put on some Witcher music. Actually, I'll do it right after. I will be right back. Okay, baby girl. I'm going to put you on the ground, love, love. Yeah, because I want to play at least for like four hours because I'm leaving. I'm just tired, but it's just the dental work makes me tired. She's so warm. It's nice. I'm cold too. 